guys, today we're just going to do a really simple green and brown smoky eye, so stick with me and I'll show you how I did it. So as always, we're going to apply a base from lash line up to brow. Any base of your choice will work. And then taking a fluffy brush, take a powder in the same colour as your skin tone or translucent, and then just apply that all over the same area. This is just going to create a great base so we can apply our eyeshadows next. Taking any dome shape blending brush that you have, dust a little bit of a medium brown eyeshadow onto it and tap off any excess. And then begin to work that into the crease, starting from the outer and working all the way into the inner corner. Then of course here I'm going to do some additional blending with a clean separate blending brush. Next, take a small shader brush and a green eyeshadow. I chose a frosty one, but any one that you like will work. And I'm going to put this right onto the lid, just underneath where we've swept that brown eyeshadow through the socket. Then I'm bringing that right into the inner tear duct and then following along down the bottom lash line, just a little bit. I'm using that same dome shape brush from before and blending between the green and brown eyeshadows just to soften any lines and making sure there's no harsh edges. Taking a pencil brush and a reddish brown shade, I'm going to begin to work this into the outer V and going on to the outer third of the crease. You can also bring this onto the bottom lash lines too. We're just going to blend one more time with that same dome shape brush just to make sure everything's blended and seamless. This next step is optional, but if you have enough lid space to do this, take an eyeshadow slightly more orange than your skin tone and dust this just above the brown eyeshadow. We're creating a gradient effect so everything looks perfectly blended. Then taking the liquid liner, line your top lash line from inner corner to outer corner, creating a small wing on the end. Then taking any black eyeliner pencil, rim your waterline in black. Mascara is very very important for this look so make sure you have a nice thickening volumizing mascara and apply a thick coat and don't forget the bottom lashes too. I'm using a lighter coloured bronzer than I would normally be using just because I want a really natural glow. So I'm just going to use that to frame the face. So just hit the areas that you would normally, sides of the face, forehead and jawline. <music> Lastly, I'm just going to take a gold lip gloss and then just apply a nice even coat all over my lips. This is going to tie in with the bits of gold flecks that I've got in my green eyeshadow and just help tie the look all together. And then we're done. That's about as easy as it gets. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you soon. Bye.